everyone and welcome back to the Messy Bookshelf. Today I'm going to be doing my September wrap up. I didn't get a whole lot of reading done in September. I was back to school and work was really busy so I had a bit of a crap reading month but I did get a few books read so I'm just gonna jump into those. The first book that I read this month was Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas. This came out last September and the next book in the series, Empire Storms, came out this September. And this one was a bit tough to get through. I did really enjoy it. I gave it four out of five stars. It's definitely not my favorite in the series. That will forever be Crown of Midnight. And I didn't like it as much as the first book. But I liked it more than Air of Fire, I think. I ended up listening to the second half of the book. I found an audiobook version of it and I sat down one night and just kind of listened to it. And I found it a lot easier to get through that way. So I am looking forward to getting to the next book in the series. The next book that I finished I don't actually have my copy of. I have it loaned out to a friend and it actually hasn't even been hauled yet because it is History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. As you know, I read his other book, More Happy Than Not, a few months back, and I absolutely loved it, and I loved History is All You Left Me ten times more. This was such a magnificently beautifully written book, I cannot praise it enough and I've recommended it to pretty much anyone I can see. I am so excited for its release in January so I can finally staff pick it at work because I just need more like so many people to read it. He talks about so many things and maybe sometimes yes it's a little bit much but it works and just the way that it's told it just hits you right in the feels. Like I spent most of this book with a gloss of tears over my eyes. I didn't actually physically cry because I don't usually do that with books, but oh my gosh this book was fantastic. The other full book that I finished this month was A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. I had to read this for my Shakespeare course that I'm taking this semester and I don't have my copy of it in my library and I don't care enough to go and get it. It's the No Fear Shakespeare. Nope, I don't have my other copies there. It's No Fear Shakespeare. I'm not a huge fan of Shakespeare, so I'm not. I'm, it's just gonna mention it. So those are all the books that I completed in September. The next book that I want to talk about I actually finished in October, but because I read most of it during September. I'm going to talk about it in this wrap-up instead of my October wrap-up and that is Replica by Lauren Oliver. I started at Replica right after I finished Queen of Shadows. So I read all of Lyra's story and then once I finished Lyra's story that's when I got History is All You Left Me. So then I read History is All You Left Me and then once I finished that I read Gemma's story and I finished it Sunday night so I'm counting this one as part of my September wrap-up even though I finished it in October just because most of it was re read in September and this was a lot of fun to read. I am going to be posting a full review of this soon with Nicole from Wonderland Madness so keep an eye out for that. I will also be posting a video specifically for History is All You Left Me but that won't be going up until closer to the release date in January so keep an eye out for that one as well. I and that's it I did not finish an audiobook in September I have been listening to The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks and I got about halfway through and decided to put it down because I had two credits built up and I didn't want to try and push through this when I knew there were other book audiobooks that I wanted to listen to so I'm currently listening to where Am I Now by Mara Wilson yes this is the Matilda book and I'm really really enjoying it. I'm halfway through it already and I expect to probably have this finished within the week. Thanks for watching. Let me know down below what books you read back in September. Have you read any of these and what did you think? I will see you next week. Bye!